I will enter my seminar. So I bought this skirt. It's like a tie-dye. I've been eyeing on brown flares for a while. And that's just the interface of how an online seminar works. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video from me. This week's video, I am going to vlog what online lecture is about and I'm also going to throw in a ASOS and Nasty Gal haul since your girl have been back in the mood to get shopping and all that and dress up and look nice because knowing when we'll get out of lockdown is very hopeful I mean, I still take everything Boris Johnson say with a pinch of salt He did promise us Christmas and that never happened and I just lost trust in him after that but then hopefully in April-ish time, things will open up a bit more more and I can actually go to restaurants and I can actually look pretty all over again I don't need to wear the same t-shirt you've probably seen this t-shirt so many times and the same like sweatpants all the time but anyway today is just another lockdown day we are still in lockdown currently let me close the door one sec okay the door is closed I just don't want the whole flat to hear me talking because I talk very loud in my videos one thing I've noticed I got my breakfast ready it's the usual breakfast I don't want to say any more about this breakfast because this has been in every single one of my vlog and I feel like you guys are tired of seeing it anyway today I have a lecture in actually a seminar a seminar in what is the module called okay sorry I had to go on my laptop to check what my seminar is called it's called social media data and society it is hands down one of my favorite module this semester although i only have two modules this semester same as last semester i only have two modules and this is a brand new semester this today is week four of this semester and i just want to show you guys how online seminar works and what prep work i need to do for it and like a bit of the content that i'm learning i just love this module so much because this is the type of things that i wanted to study when i first stepped into university and that's wait for three years to in order to actually study it it's about like data and big data and like media data mining and algorithms platform politics and stuff like that it's just so interesting how data is more valuable than oil now which was the most valuable asset on earth and now data trump that and it's just such a fascinating concept i'm so blessed to have the opportunity to learn that and i just i just actually love this module so yeah this morning i did a quick upper body workout just to get my body moving and all that and now i showered and got dressed not really got dressed shower put some clothes on and now i'm gonna have breakfast watch some youtube and then i'll prepare for my seminar in a bit i think i'll work on my dissertation first just to proofread some final bits and then i'll prepare for my seminar and i'll bring you guys to my seminar so yeah that's a lot of signposting for this week's video. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you find this informative. As per usual, if you have any university related question, no matter how big or small, I'll try to answer it since I'm in a space where I kinda got the gist around how online university work and how to make the most out of this weird academic year. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, next September, everything's gonna be normal and I'll be doing my master's in LSE. Yeah, that is it. I'll check in with you guys after I finish my breakfast when I'm ready to start working. Hey guys, uh, a little interception in my vlog. I just wanna show you guys my new purchase since I don't know, I feel like lockdown's gonna be lifted in like a few months and I'm just preparing my new wardrobe for adventures with nice outfit, let's just put it that way. I'm very very excited, I honestly haven't bought new clothes in so long. Old Suki, that is a bit of a shopaholic, is back! Okay, um, how do I open this? Also look how pretty the colors are on the little parcel thing. First thing I got is this mesh skirt. I've been really into wearing skirts right now. I think because the weather is warming up. I mean like, I don't know, but this weekend in the UK, it's been quite sunny and I've just been really liking wearing skirts. So I bought this skirt. It's like a tie dye black and white kind of skirt. Yeah, I really like it. It's really comfy, it's soft. It's just like a nice stretchy waistband. So if you have a food baby, it will be able to fit. It's just, yeah, I got everything in the size eight and uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I really like the tie dye detail on it too. And the makes your bum look nice too, which is good. So yeah, that is the 
skirt. This one is supposed to be shorter because it's petite and I have short legs so I just want to give it a try and see if it fits me better because I do own a pair of flares that I got from that seek out as well but they are so long like I actually have to wear platform boots for them to fit because they hit me in the bottom of my feet so every time when I go outside it just makes the bottom dirty but this is the first pair of flares the length is perfect it doesn't go down oh, I don't know if you can see I'm gonna stand on the bed for you guys wait Oh my gosh, okay. The length is perfect, like it doesn't go down to the bottom of my feet. It hangs there. So if I do wear shoes without platform, I could wear these flares. I don't know, they are a statement piece. And like this bag keeps falling down, I have to pull it up. It just keeps falling down. It's really flattering on your bum if you can't tell. I don't know how I feel about this. Next thing I bought, oh, okay. This is a different material than I expected to be. I've been eyeing on brown flares for a while and I want to grab myself a pair, but I did not expect this ripped material. I thought it's going to be smooth. These are definitely longer, so like it like hits the bottom of my feet because these are not petite. So yeah, like petite is definitely a great length if you are 160 centimeter like me. It's a really nice fabric. It holds me up better because it's high waisted. The, the waistline doesn't fall. I don't need to keep like pushing it up. Yeah, I think I like this more than that. But the only bad thing about this is it's, it's very long. And I also got some jewelry because I love accessorizing. I've been taking a break from accessorizing during lockdown. But now, I just had that sudden urge to go back into wearing tons of necklaces and all that. I feel like Nasty Gal has really affordable necklaces that is obviously uh, not real gold, but it just is trendy and nice. This, I feel like, oh, I don't know. I thought I, it would, might go all my keys. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'm very close to the camera, but I wanted to show you guys how the necklaces look like. This could be a bit longer, but it's adjustable. So I would put this a bit longer so it goes below my key. But I really like this chain necklace. It looks really nice. It has like an opening here. So you basically take it on and off in this like clasp thing and yeah it's just really nice i really like it a pair of earrings i thought they're really cute they're like dangly it's like a butterfly diamond print and it's like gold yeah i also got these rings these just came in a pack and i thought they looked really cute i don't know if it's the right size for me it looks like that oh also want to share one thing with you guys Oh yeah, wait. I also bought this top from ASOS recently. It was literally like a last week purchase. So I, I'll put this in my haul as well. It's not an unboxing one because it didn't come today. But I've worn it so many times already. I couldn't recommend this top enough. It's just really flattering and the fabric is so, so soft. It's super affordable. Actually, I think the skirt also goes with darker colors. This is, oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Okay, this is the new like ASOS top that I was talking about that I love. Like, it's just like really soft and a nice material. So yeah, I think it looks good with skirts as well because it's like nicely cropped. Okay, I try to like pair these flares with the black crop top and I think it looks better. I think these might look better with darker colors. I don't know, should I keep these flares? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so a little change of location. It is so bright. I'm sitting right opposite a window. But since I normally do work with my boyfriend in his room, he is having a call with his group mate right now. So I have to go to his flatmate's room to do my seminar. I still have 10 minutes until my seminar starts. And I made myself a quick little lunch. It's the TikTok like wrap. Like I put like egg, tomato, some lettuce, um, avocado in. Just like a quick lunch because I haven't eaten anything after my porridge. And I had some snacks and I had, actually I have eight things. I feel a bit hungry now and I don't really have that much time to make a proper lunch so I'm gonna eat that one on my seminar but I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna talk about and what prep I need to do for it so I think now we are on week four let's go on our blackboard page we have a blackboard page dedicated to each of our 
seminars, uh, modules, I mean each of our modules. This week our topic is algorithmic cultures. I had to do a core reading before seminar and also have to look into a website called the Algorithm Watch, which is an organization who try to make algorithm understandable to the public. We were just looking into that organization for our seminar preparation. Normally our lectures are already posted. It's normally pre-recorded and it's already posted on our website. And then we have the seminar preparation, which is the core reading and the task and then the reading is this reading and normally it also comes with the lecture slide obviously that you can download and take notes when you are watching the lectures and then there are some extra reading that you can read so this is basically the structure of an online university this just repeats week after week the lecture gets uploaded before your seminar and then you watch it before you go into your seminar and the purpose of a seminar is just to discuss what you've learned in your lectures discuss your readings ask your seminar leader any questions and stuff like that so that's basically how how our online university is functioning through all of my modules it's the same structure it's a lecture reading task and then seminar seminar is where you feedback everything you've done this week to prepare for next week and stuff like that currently it is 2 53 and normally no one really enters the seminar room until like a minute or um two minutes before it actually starts so yeah the rooms are also on blackboard i'm gonna now have my lunch i have like six minutes to finish my lunch before my seminar and then i'll show you guys what i do in my seminar i'm still eating right now but it is 2 59 so i will enter my seminar yay i'm in the room okay i'm sorry my laptop screen is cut off it's broken but there are currently only me and zoe in the room and there are more people joining in i get um uh, uh what was it called like food okay i'm gonna mute my seminar leader for now but he is my seminar leader and i'm in my seminar and there are 11 people right now and there's obviously more people joining and yeah it is the week four and that's just the interface of how like an online seminar works you know what i mean it's much rather be here um, okay, great. So why don't we just very quickly just thank you all so much for uh, for your participation today, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Okay, I just finished my lecture, not lecture, I keep calling it lecture. I just finished my seminar and now I don't have to look so bright because I can turn around and I don't need to face the window. Anyway, basically in my seminar, I got split into breakout rooms, which happens in every single seminar. So you get to discuss your idea in a smaller group of people. You don't need to feel intimidated by speaking out in a large crowd. We normally are split into groups of like four to five people. And today's activity was basically, we found a hot heated topic that society's been talking about and we need to search it up on different platforms and see if the results we get are different because of algorithms and things like that. My group decided to look for COVID vaccines and we basically put all our finding in a Google Doc and I did YouTube and I just searched for it. We discussed how the search term differs between platforms and stuff like that. It was a really interesting discussion. So yeah, normally a seminar only lasts for 15 minutes. It's not very long, but it's a really good way for me to take a break from writing dissertation and do other academic readings and stuff like that. It's good to just discuss with other fellow students that has the same interest as you and, and learn more about their perspective understand the topic you're learning in a more interactive way so yeah i hope this video kind of gave you a better insight on how online seminar works and how online university works because the only interactive element i get now are from my seminar all the lectures are as I said, pre-recorded, so it's been uploaded before. It's just like watching YouTube videos. You don't really get to interact with the lecturer until your seminar, which you can ask questions you have. Yeah, I think I might wrap up my video here since this is the whole point of my video is to show you guys in detail how online university work and just bring you guys to my seminar for a day. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!